Namaste. We are now going to talk about one very, very, very important concept of Ayurveda. There is food compatibilities and food incompatibilities. In the West, usually, people think that if you just like mix a lot of healthy things, you're going to be healthy in one same meal. In Ayurveda, usually this is not true. In Ayurveda, not everything that is healthy, along with another thing that is healthy, is going to be healthy for you. This means that, for one case, do you think about watermelon? Watermelon usually is considered a healthy thing. And you also can consider like uh, muesli, morning cereals. To have morning cereals, muesli with watermelon for Ayurveda probably will um, corrupt your digestive process. I'm not saying that if you eat this one time you're going to be sick. But if you continue doing the, doing this, probably your digestive system is not going to be work, working well, your um, skin are going to start to develop some strange things and this kind of stuff. So let's put some general guidelines about food incompatibilities in Ayurveda. The first one is that milk should not be eaten with anything that is salty or anything that is sour. So usually milk in a, and it should not be uh, taken cold also. <laughs> so milk in Ayurveda, to be properly digested, it has to be boiled with some spices that are going to increase, to uh, make it, it, its dige digestion easier. Like turmeric, like uh, some, maybe some cloves, some anise, some uh, cardamom, some cinnamon not going to do this specifically now, we are going to talk about this soon um, but the point is that in Ayurveda we don't mix milk with salty things like you eat milk and you take some bread and also some cheese in Ayurveda this is not good for our health the other thing is that we don't mix eggs with milk or meat. If you eat eggs, milk, meat. In the West it's very common so it's important to say about these things. Eggs should be eaten uh, only with some cereal like some bread or some tapioca or this kind of stuff or some potato but not with uh, a lot of things along like cheese, uh, uh, burger and also <laughs> <laughs> yogurt and uh, no. In Ayurveda, if you're going to eat egg, egg, milk, and meat are very, need to be digested separately, one of each other. And uh, if you have some uh, bread that is only the wet, without salt, you can drink it with milk. But in Ayurveda, milk is mainly like our mother's milk. Simple digestion, very nutritious. It can be with some brown sugar, it can be with some ghee and this kind of stuff, but mainly cooked with spices and turmeric, usually. Eggs is usually best to be prepared with turmeric also. All the proteins in Ayurveda usually are good, best to be prepared with um, turmeric, including mushrooms, including the beans. So, the eggs are going to be with some oil, some sunflower oil and some um, turmeric and then this maybe with some bread. Meat are going to be prepared with some lemon or some vinegar and then to put some um, turmeric over it like ceviche, Peruvian ceviche and uh, it takes like 15-20 minutes before it goes to the fire to be prepared, uh, roasted or whatever. So this is very important. Milk, eggs and meats are not to be joined in the same 
meal. It can be in the same day, but not in the same meal. Fruits and uh, salty things usually are not good for digestion, except avocado, pineapple, lemon, pomegranate, coconut, and also tamarind. Uh, some people say papaya also, but the point is that uh, this idea of having some fruits as desserts of the meal or mixing some mango in the with cani and this kind of stuff for Ayurveda is not a good strategy to uh, promote health in your, in your digestive system. Other important guidelines is that we should not mix two uh, complex carbohydrates in the same meal, such as rice, millet, wet, corn, um, and others that are uh, that are grown in grass. Um, <clears throat> because in Ayurveda, people around the world usually had only one of these in their area of living. The Egypts had uh, some wet and also people in America had some corn and people uh, ever elsewhere had some oats, barley and this kind of stuff. Okay, So for each meal just one cereal in this kind of grass. Um, you can have beans mixed but uh, it's not uh, the same as the cereals that are grown in grass rice and this kind of stuff, the rice group. And also, uh, we should not end the meal with uh, heavy stuff like desserts. In Ayurveda, if you are going to eat uh, sour fruits, it's better to take them along with sour fruits, uh, alk alkaline fruits with alkaline fruits, except melon and watermelon that should be not mixed with anything. Eat me alone or leave me alone are their uh, slogan. <laughs> um, in Ayurveda, everything that you eat for a long time and after some time you feel healthy in your digestive process as a general, but your skin starts to be with any kind of disturbance, it's not shiny, beauty and glowing, then you probably are being intoxicated slowly by this kind of food incompatibilities. You can be allergic to one kind of stuff like wet and gluten and all this stuff but in Ayurveda most of the time these allergies are built up during the time that they are not being properly digested. So in Ayurveda we are not uh, against eating meat or eggs or milk as a principle. If you are a vegetarian in Ayurveda there is no problem. Uh, I'm also a vegetarian for more than 10 years and there is no problem with me. But uh, the thing is that if you are going to eat things that are heavy for the digestion, including milk, complex for digestion, you should follow some guidelines so that it can be easily digest. For a, a more common sense, if you have just like three kinds of work to do in your, um, in your working stage, what is usually more simple? To do one, another and the other or to do all of them at the same time? Usually the answer is to do them separately. Of course, there are some kind of jobs that they need to be done together. But the point is that in Ayurveda, every piece of food that we put in our mouth is going to need a specific kind of digestive process. And some of these digestive processes are not uh, agreeable. The point is that in Ayurveda, we pay very close attention to how our digestive system is working. And this kind of food incompatibilities can be general, as we spoke, but it can also be specific. If the person say, oh, if I eat spinach, or if I eat cucumber, or if I eat anything, doesn't matter, my digestive process doesn't get well with this. 
in Ayurveda we are going to pay attention to this because in Ayurveda the whole digestive process is considered uh, the primordial thing for our health. So, when we are doing the consultations, I'm going to ask you about what are your food habits in the morning, in the lunch time, and all this stuff. And we are going to make some uh, suggestions to solve any kind of food compa incompatibilities there can might be. There are several, and this is not only uh, of what you eat, how you prepare, what you mix. There are a lot of subtleties here that I'm not willing to explain in a 12 minutes video because uh, it's not needed. We are here just highlighting the principle of food incompatibilities and saying that this can in a mid long term spoil your digestive capacity, your agni. Okay? So don't need to be afraid or in panic <laughs> We can do your consultation soon, but the point is that these are not going to kill you tomorrow. It just hampers your health, okay? There is no need to <laughs> be in crisis. Oh, namaste, please do my consultation. I'm having milk with cornflakes. What I'm going to, is going to happen with me? Be easy. <laughs> You're still alive and you're probably going to be still alive tomorrow also. So. Uh, in Ayurveda we are going to change our daily habits slowly and uh, safely so our body has the time to learn to digest the new things properly okay so I, I be, uh, will be available for your contact if you want to have some consultations if you just want to click the like button and share it fine too Nice to meet you again. See you in the next session. Namaste.